Hello, I'm Lisa Larson, Heartland Early Education Director, and it's been 10 weeks since school started um, back in August, and I just wanted to give you an update. All in all, I think the school year has gone as well as possible. Since school started, we've had 13 positive COVID cases between staff and children. I know it can be frustrating when you receive the same Facebook posts uh, when we have a positive case. However, as you know, it's vital that we protect uh, our children and staff, and by HIPAA laws, we can't provide any identifying information. But if you don't know, you can go to our USD 305 website homepage, scroll down on the left, and there's a tab that says COVID-19 incidents. You can click on that, and that gives you information about um, where there's a case, uh, where there's been a positive case, and, um, and that's for the whole district. Uh, the modified procedures we have put in place are making a difference. We're, we continue to take child's temperatures upon arrival at school. We're dropping off and picking, out, picking up outside. That's working. Smaller class sizes have made a difference. Allowing more time between morning and afternoon sessions gives staff adequate time to do extra cleaning and sanitizing. Limiting the number of people in our building to enrolled children and employed staff has been a positive change towards increased health measures. And our staff, of course, continue to wear masks. Thank you for helping uh, make this a successful school year during these strange times. I am so appreciative of your understanding, um, but I would ask if you can help us, please wear a mask when dropping off or picking up your child. Just this simple step alone will help staff feel more comfortable and will send the message um, that you support our efforts and that we're all in this together. Yeah. It's been challenging at times trying to figure out the best procedures for everybody involved. Um, I want to ensure you that the classroom staff <clears throat> and family consultants are always thinking about what is best for you and your family. They take their role seriously and no one wants to see us move to a remote only setting. So here's a few, few more reminders. Please, again, wear a mask when bringing your child um, or picking him or her up. Maintain a distance of six feet when waiting in line. Keep your child home if they're sick or experiencing flu-like symptoms. And think about limiting where you go in public whenever you can. As you know, COVID cases are increasing in our community and everywhere, actually. Please do your part to keep yourself and your family safe and healthy. As the holidays are approaching, I hope they will be enjoyable, but don't forget to practice all the recommended health and safety procedures. I am truly grateful to you and I'm grateful to your children and I'm so glad we were able to provide a somewhat normal school experience. Please let your family consultant know if there is anything we can do for you or if you have suggestions for us to make things easier. And just so you know, we're still accepting applications for enrollment. Let your friends and family know. And thank you very much.